the spring. Where, where are you with one to go? We, we, we've advanced quite, quite a ways and, and uh, pleased with that inv- advancement. Um, t- wasn't pleased with today. Uh, would, would have liked to have seen the last practice before we took the field for the spring game as, as, as one that, that uh, left us uh, leaving the practice field with a smile on our face. Too many minimal mistakes, uh, took our foot off the gas a little bit, um, but got some exposure to a couple more calls that we got to put on film and we'll be able to teach off of throughout the summer and, and in the training camp. And as, as much for the coaching staff as anything, gave us some exposure to some things that we can learn from. What do you want to see on Saturday to maybe write that wrong thing today? Well, Saturday to me is, is, is a purest day as far as the game of football is concerned. It's about fitting right. It's about taking care of the upfield shoulder. It's about tackling great. Uh, it's about playing minimum calls and, and, and executing them uh, to the best of your ability. And I'd, I'd like to see all that get accomplished as, as we play as hard as we physically can for, for the entire time that we're out there. It's going to make a huge difference if you all can't go outside and have to modify it and the walk of the Well, I... I I don't believe so. I, th- I think any time that you can step in between the white lines and, and, and do what you're asked to do, you got a chance to improve, and, and uh, we'll, we'll get that done. Whether we're, whether we're in a stadium and scrimmaging or wherever we end up, I, th- I think we'll get a chance to do exactly that on Saturday. Do you feel like that this has been more of a time to focus on fundamentals, or have you guys done more install, or you know, how's it kind of been divided up? Oh, I'd, I'd say a distribution of both. I, I, I would... We, we are never going to shy away from the fundamentals. And if you ask me where we were overall, I'd say probably heavier on the fundamentals of things than we are in a scheme. Um, if you would ask me for a percentage-wise where we're at in our playbook, uh, boy, I'd, I'd, maybe somewhere in the 50% range is, is where we're at. But we've learned the basics of this defense and what we have to accomplish to be successful and, and I think they thoroughly understand that. But if they don't bend their knees and fit properly and do the things with urgency that they're supposed to do, it doesn't matter how, how thick your playbook is or, or, or what calls call for whatever particular situation. Is that 50% kind of where you thought you would be at the beginning of spring? Did you want to push that or are you content? No, it, it, it was, it was a, a one practice at a time approach to it. Um, we, we might ended up in, in the same call for three practices if we needed to end up in the same call for three practices. We had um, we added a call each of the first three days. Um, and then that next Tuesday, I was planning on advancing, and, and we were in no position to do that. So uh, we stayed the same on Tuesday, added a little bit on Thursday, and then went into our first scrimmage, which was practice six. So, uh, no, I, I didn't have a 15-day calendar laid out with a, with a circle about this is where I want to get. How the linebackers, as far as formulating what you got, you, you feel pretty decent about it? Oh, we, we're young. We're young, and, and uh, certainly with Dre Greenlaw not on the field all, all spring, um, that doesn't give you a true picture of, of what you can be. Um, but, you know, you look out there, and, and, and when Randy Ramsey and, and Scooter Harris are sort of your, 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 your veterans, um, that's sort of concerning because they haven't played a lot of football, and they certainly haven't played a lot of football in the SEC. Um, but they were an eager group, and I, I thought um, inside and outside both um, showed, showed market improvement from practice one up through practice 14. And, and uh, as, as I expressed uh, probably, um, you know, unsatisfaction with today, that's maybe as much in the back end as it was everybody else, okay? The, the, the front seven overall, they, they might have had a pretty decent practice, but I, but I wasn't very thrilled with the back end. Hey, Paul, you were here last year and you watched what went wrong defensively. <coughs> what are your thoughts on how quickly this switch to the 3-4 can make an impact after, after the spring? Well, I, I think 3-4, 4-3, 50 front, it, it, it all boils down to how well we play whatever it is we're playing. We, we could have stayed in the same defense. If we played it better, we were going to play better defense. I think the three, four down the road will, will be, you know, very, very good to, to, to what we recruit, where we recruit, and, and what we got to defend. Um, as as we learn it, as we fit our personnel to it and add to it, um, I still believe we can be a better defense. Um, but I I wouldn't put as much of that on the the, the change of scheme as it is the execution of what we're asking. Overall, 